Welcome to Joe on the Go. Today I'm immersing myself in the wonderful world of Marie Reynolds, celebrated wellness skincare expert whose intuitive approach to well-being combines many energy therapies and she's totally unique. It's like, are you running? Yeah. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> the first time I ever had a facial with Marie, she was investigating my toes and I can't even remember what it meant, but it was just like, ooh. <laughs> and, and, and even the way I, I bit my lip and yes. all these, all these in, which is a bit crusty today, and, <laughs> and, and, which is actually due to a brace, not, not actually not happy, but, um, and all these elements that we don't consider about ourselves. No, because people will only tell you what they want you to know in a consultation. Mm. So when I'm asking questions, I'm actually looking at how fast you're blinking, how fast you're breathing, how fast you're talking. I'm looking at the, <laughs> <laughs> the structure of your nostrils, oh any God. little fine lines, <laughs> the texture of your eyebrows, mm. the shape of your ears if they're on show, mm -hmm. um, if, what you're doing with your fingers, what you, how you're <laughs> all, <laughs> all, <laughs> all sorts of things. It means something. Mm. So I'm actually reading you and just sort of like mentally thinking, right, okay, mm. we've got a stomach person here or a liver person there, or there's elements of the both, and we'll just go through and mm. and then I'll ask to see your feet. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I ask to see your back as well, your pelvis. And tongue. And tongue, and tongue. Yes, yes. And why why um because that's all is that all the Chinese um, diagnosis? Well, it's, it's what I call um, implicit tissue memory because we, I mean, we are what we are by what we eat, experience and inherit, but also by what we think, so our emotions. Mm. We're only born with two fears and that's the fear of noise and the fear of falling. Everything else is learned behaviour. So, um, you know, certain questions can trigger an adrenal response. So mm. I might ask a question and then hold your hand and if there's sort of like sweaty palm They're sweaty mm. yeah so again that can that can trigger a, a adrenal response so mm. that can also um would it be a very personal question <laughs> no i don't really do sometimes <laughs> i just make statements don't i i mean uh, i just yeah. say right yeah. this is how it is and yeah you, get, you have to just give in yeah. really but then I'll, I'll look at the back and i'll see if the the pelvis is twisted but i can see that as well from the jaw because right. the tmj and the pelvis link very oh very God. closely mm. so um, if there's a little slight deviation in the jaw then there's usually a deviation on the pelvis and that can be linked to all sorts of other things so so for instance for our wonderful viewers what what would um, what would be uh, say an issue if you were looking at the the ears well, the ears, first of all, the ears link in with the kidneys, mm -hmm. okay, so, and the kidneys in motion is fear and anxiety. But the kidneys and the spleen are also the storehouse of your chi energy. So if you've got small ears, mm. in Chinese philosophy they say the smaller the ears, the easier it is to run on your reserve batteries, okay. Mm. Um, and also with the ears you can look at certain um, folds. So the outer fold usually links in with circulation and sometimes you can look at certain lines to see if there's, maybe you get cold hands and feet easily. Mm. Um, or if there's certain issues with circulation on father's ancestral line or mother's ancestral line, depending on what ear it is. Mm. Um, and you can also look at your nervous disposition. That doesn't mean to say that there's anything wrong with the nervous disposition, but it could mean that you get sometimes emotional highs and lows, mm. valleys and hills. Mm. Um, and then we have a look at the digestion because there's another another part of the ear. If it's short and if it's thin, then you'll often find that you get digestive issues. When I'm talking about specific organs, I'm not actually talking about there's a problem with the organ. I'm mm. talking about the energetic process right. and yes. the and the relationship it might have with another organ and mm. the energetic relationship that it might have with it and mm. the emotional link. Mm. So, um, and also the, the in, inherited link yes. because we all come from a genetic pathway and it mm. depends what genetic train or what genetic journey we're on. So it's all a case of joining the dots. I was just noticing your tongue. All right. It's all smooth. <laughs> going down the middle and every time get ooh you know you get anybody you, you can tell by the time if it's fluted on the outside yes. there's like grinding teeth yeah. and obviously if there's certain points on the top you can tell with deviation of the heart <laughs> you're making me know how my clients feel now <laughs> it's just so cute it's just little neat little cute pink <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, what's your next question? 
<laughs> I can't get over that. So, um, so, because that's the thing, you're you're so trained in so many different skills, like homeopathy, um, medical diagnosis, Chinese diagnosis, um, fashion, fashion. Bowen. Bowen. Do you bring them all in in, in various ways? You can't really bring Bowen in, that's a separate treatment, isn't Well, it? I tend to ask my client, I, I mean, that's why a lot of people ask me about my therapies. I don't really like to put my therapies online. What I tend to do is ask, try and get my clients in for, or, a, mm. or clients in for a free consultation first. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I do a free consultation because I think it's important that everybody has um, access to information, regardless mm. of whether they come to me, regardless mm. of whether they buy off the website, I think it's important that they have access to information. Mm. Um, because I believe sometimes people don't really understand what they need. Mm. So it's my job to, to get to the nitty gritty and so I do uh, uh, FaceTime consultations or Skype consultations and I'll ask them questions at the same mm. time looking at how they what they're doing and then I'll ask them to pick their computer up and show me their feet. Mm. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And, but doing these consultations then enables me to guide the clients mm. of, of what they need. Yeah. And, and I mean, the energy medicine side is a completely different side. Mm. But the Bowen technique is amazing. I know mm. you've had it. And yeah. It's it's absolutely amazing yeah. um, modality. So explain, explain why. Because you, you trained in that, what's that, five years ago yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what made you and then well, tell me what it is. I've always been interested in fascia. So, um, you know, fascia, if you look at the orange and you peel an orange, the pith or the peel is attached to the inner fruit mm -hmm. and then the, the inner fruit is attached to the segments and when you undo the segments, they've got little sacks of, of juice. So mm. everything is separate but interconnected and mm. it's the same as fascia. And fascia is so intelligent. It collects information. It is It uh, responds to stress, to diet, to emotions to chemicals that we absorb, electrosmog, all sorts of different things, and it becomes dehydrated. And when it becomes dehydrated, it actually affects the transition of, of information. Mm. So that's information from your brain to your nerves. Um, so the Bowen technique actually works on something called the primitive streak. Hmm. Now the primitive streak is created from when the zygote and the sperm, or the, the egg and the sperm first meet, it has 15 days of gestation and then it has a rapid um, um, division. division. Yeah. So the first division creates what's called the first line of fascia, it's known as the finger of God hmm. or the primitive streak and that is where the spinal cord is formed, the right. brain and the uh, dura and also the coccyx. Hmm. So there are certain points on the body that Bowen uses and it's a really unusual technique when mm. people come and have Bowen they think that it's going to be a manipulative technique yes. and it's not you barely feel a thing you barely feel yeah. a thing and the therapist leaves the room mm. yes so and you're, you're thinking you're left to what are they doing yeah you know? what am I paying for yeah. yeah but actually what it does it actually interacts Amazing. with cerebral spinal fluid mm. and it enables the brain to think right okay it's not having a massage technique what mm. does it what is it doing mm. and it attaches to that point to allow hydration of fascia mm. And it allows information that runs from the fascia to that point to the particular br uh, part of the brain. Mm. Now, with the Bowen technique, we tend to treat also something called noisy neighbours. So let me give you an example. If you have a problem with your elbow, the noisy mm. neighbours would be the shoulder yeah. and the wrist. Yeah. So because we have lines of fascia that runs in ribbons, it's called they're called anatomy trains. Mm. So if, like for instance, if there's a, a a pregnant lady that's got a problem with her back I would tell them to push down on a ball on their foot because there's a line of fascia that runs from the base of the feet all the way up past the, the calves all the way up to the pelvis and the hip and it actually ends up in your frontal, frontalis there right. so there's different particular points that, mm. that they would treat mm. or I would treat that treat other parts of the body yeah so it hydrates the fascia and and for people who've never heard of Bowen, of which there are so many, I know, so yeah. many people, I mean, it's extraordinary. It's originally from Australia. Yes, Tom Bowen. Tom Bowen. Yeah. Like, so, you know, when people come and they say, oh, you know, I'm having acupuncture or I'm having this or can I have a facial at the same time? No, it's always best to just focus on Bowen mm. um, and allow it to do its work because with Bowen, it will carry on working after the treatment. There's the three W's, which is weight, walk, and water. So you go gentle exercise, you wait seven to 10 days, and you 
hydrate yourself. Mm -hmm. And so hydrating is everything to you? Hydration is everything. However, intracellularly hydrating, because people drink so much water and it just flushes through them. The cells mm. are not getting the, the, the appropriate minerals or ionic minerals uh, mm. required. So when I suggest my clients to hydrate, I give something called the Hydration Duo, which is a homeopathic blend for mm. uh, rehydrating, uh, rehydrating fascia. It's also something called Spectrin, which is so salty, it contains 72 ionic minerals from the Great Salt Lake, so you only need a few little drops in a litre of water, mm. and then it hydrates you intracellularly, because when you're intracellularly hydrated um, and cellularly nourished, mm. then they've got the energy to take on the information of everything that's needed. Interesting. We would not talk about that. No. No. I don't talk about anything she talks about. She's <laughs> extraordinary. Nobody else, nobody else understands. I'm I a think. bit out there. No, no, you're <laughs> so clever. Um, and so, is that quite hard to get for people to just they get, no, get it from you? No, you can get it? it from me, but you, you do have to have a password for it because it is prescriptive only. Okay. So, okay. But you okay. can get that through a free consultation. There we go. There you go. No, Reynolds. <laughs> um, and so, um, so normally your consultation does involve. The other aspect. So you bring in the homeopath homeopathy in there. Yeah. So as well, so let's. If you're having a consultation just for general wellness and health uh, and well-being, then what I would do is ask you questions. And I always say, look, if you're happy with your skincare, you stick with your skincare. I don't want people to feel overwhelmed with stuff. Mm. And I'm very, very strict that if I give you a healthcare regimen, I say, look, if you can't commit to this and invest in this mm. it's no point you even starting because mm. there's no point in just saying oh well i'll take a vitamin from here and i'll take a supplement from there and i'll hope for the best so for instance i will do something a lot of the time is something called the opening channels and what it does it works on the whole system of the body so it works on the gut which everybody mm. you know knows the importance of gut health however and learning but... yeah but but again i've said this so many times and apologies if i've re repeated myself but your gut is like a a farmer's field mm. if the seeds are weak and he wants a good healthy harvest no mm. matter what fertilizer he puts on it you're not going to get a healthy harvest mm. so you have to excavate that field right. and then lay down healthy seeds but mm. also another thing that's really important is to make sure that the elimination um, organs are supportive so that's your liver and your kidneys and your gut mm. and your skin and all sorts of things like that mm. because it's a little bit like having un unwanted guests at a house party and asking them to leave but they're loitering in the in the hall <laughs> they'll just wait for another room to open so you have to it's, that's called vicariation mm. so it's how your body gets rid of toxicity and sometimes it gets rid of toxicity outwardly mm. and that's when you purge and sometimes it embeds inwardly which means that you have to look at your mm. healthcare program again so do you believe in the leaky gut yes because lots of people don't. Yes, I believe in it. And also there's something, there's, there's different variations of it, isn't there? There's the leaky gut and there's also where the um, ileocecal valve doesn't shut properly. So you get like a back, back yes, flush. Yes, nasty. So it's really important to uh, incorporate like a collagen supplement, a good collagen supplement. Now I do two, I do my own one, which is called Cold Force, which is fantastic for, you know, I mean like, hair growth it's mental mm. absolutely mental mm. the hair growth skin and, and, and nails but it's also really good because a lot of people don't understand that the bad bacteria feed off of collagen so if you actually put collagen into your system it feeds off of collagen yeah, okay. but I've also got another one called Colmino which it, it's more to deal with an immune factor mm. part of, of health and well-being so this collagen will help to seal the gut wall it helps to uh, deal with any ileocecal problems but it also has um, immune factors and growth factors in it so it's really good for your immune system and also helps to sort of like with with growth factors and everything to support the whole colon health mm. it it doesn't mean anything calling you a facialist does it <laughs> uh, well see the thing is it's really hard because i mean mm. i know uh, it's confusing what i do um i don't like to be called um you know when people say oh do you treat this uh, this illness or that illness I don't treat anything what I do is look at what's imbalanced and help the body to balance itself mm. whatever happens along the way is down to um, how well you implement it mm. you know people say oh my god thank you so much you've done this I haven't done it I've just given you the tools to do it it's down to your commitment to do yeah. it um, as far as the energy healing side of it that's a completely different ball game it's all about 
literally peeling back the layers because allopathic medicine is very linear. Mm. If you've got um, a, a symptom, they'll just give you, you know, um, medication or anything. Allopathic medicine. Allopathic, which is your normal medicine. Mm. And don't get me wrong, it's amazing. It is amazing, mm. okay? Yeah, but it is for trauma care. Mm. You know, a lot of them are in the business of disease management, yes. not health care. Yeah. Okay, mm. so um, and I would never ever tell anyone to come off medication or anything, mm. but the work I do is complementary, mm. and the work I have done have have had a natural process of taking people off of very heavy mm. um, pain meds and also buffering their um, receptiveness to certain yes. uh, uh, medications that may have caused. Uh, side effects mm. so um, it's it's one of those and it's hard for people to get their head around because it's not a physical thing see there's two types of medicine mm. there's Newtonian mes medicine which is very physical it's called the materialism so it's like if you've got a broken arm then you'll go and get your arm fixed mm. if you've got diabetes then you'll get insulin um, but then there's the Einsteinian method which is to do with the energetic method mm. and for me and what I believe is that mm. all dis-ease in the body starts energetically yeah and we're all energy we're all energy everything yeah. everything in this universe whether you believe it or not starts with frequency mm. everything has its own resonance and as I said earlier you know that even the earth has its own heartbeat it's called the Schumann resonance mm. and it's even used in uh, NASA used the Schumann resonance in in space oh, really? yeah absolutely in what way they use it to help ground the um, astronauts you know because if they get disorientated mm. they use it to ground the astronauts and also quartz is used everywhere and people talk about crystals yeah everyone uses quartz it's in your laptops it's in your mm. watches you know it's and everything mm. you know and your solar panels yeah it's true you know I was a single mum I worked yeah. for a, a skincare company mm. um, and I loved the skincare company and I did all of the education and I had unfortunately quite a bit of attention drew to me by what I did mm. but I always tried to push it through to the skincare company and I think I, it was my belief that they were quite jealous of that and, and made my life hell as a single mum. Um. And I looked at Olivia and I thought, if I allow these people, I'd already gone through hell because my you know, ex-husband had you know, brain injury, he was involved in an attempted murder thing and was told we couldn't have children. So I'd already had a, a horrific journey. Mm. I mean, he ran off with a nurse anyway, so that was fine. But I'd already had a horrific journey and then had this small child and mm. then got this job and then had all of that to deal with. And I looked at Olivia and I thought, if I as a woman and as a single mum allowed this to happen, mm. what message does that say to Olivia? No matter what, how scary it is, mm. I, they knew that I needed my, my money to pay my mortgage. Mm. But so they um, manipulated Really you. manipulated me. Mm. But, you know, I just thought, right, okay. Um, I took them to court and I won. And it was really scary because it was over five days. And people that I thought were there for me mm. weren't. And it's a real eye-opener. Mm. So it was literally me on my own taking this quite big company um, oh. to court. But I won and it was fine. But then I thought, well, what am I going to do? Yeah. Um, so I thought, right, I'm going to... And it was madness, really. When I think about it, I made myself homeless. I sold my house and I moved in with my mum and dad and mm. I invested in my brand. But I've worked so hard yeah. and it's just so important. And now I always say to Olivia, look, you can do it. You've just got to have mm. faith in yourself that you can do it. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's what happens. And it yeah. is only me. You know, people think that it's a... You know, I'm bigger than what I am, but it's only me. It's a no. So <laughs> tell, tell everyone about your barn because... It, it's incredible. I mean, I want to buy it. It's it is, that way. <laughs> it's um, a 16th century barn. Um, and uh, I mean, I had clinics all over London and um, I had an opportunity. Uh, an investor was wanted to invest in, in my concept and the brand. And it was all very, very exciting. Um, and then I thought, oh my gosh, Olivia's like grown up mm. and in a blink of an eye she's grown up and I've worked so hard mm. um, but in that process I was talking to a chap and um, who lived in Norfolk mm. and I thought um, and we just built up a rapport and I just said oh so that's not a Norfolk accent and he said no I lived in South East London and I said really I said so do I and it turns out that we were born in the same hospital he mm. went to school with my brothers no. his sister taught Olivia when she was in nursery no. it was nuts mm. so anyway we arranged to meet and literally the moment we met Mida, that was I it. married him <laughs> yeah that's right I did <laughs> um, and he was going to move down to London I thought what am I doing what am I doing I'm just literally oh 
actually selling my soul to the devil again. Mm. So I um, closed all the clinics down apart from Fortnum's because that's very special to me. Um, and I moved up to Norfolk and uh, I said to my parents, you know, why don't you come up as well? So my mum and dad sold up and we all pulled in and bought mm. this beautiful uh, 16th century barn mm. um, and it had land on it. So decided to build the clinic, purpose built. So mm -hmm. the clinic has got all quartz in the cement, in the foundation, all That's quartz amazing. powder. It was made with quartz powder. Um, it's got all fa all crystals behind the wall, um, copper surfaces. It's got really good energy. Mm. I even We even got... Um, a thousand year old olive tree and my dad did these roundels with all crystals and copper pennies it's beautiful um, around it and we've got the earthing rod as well that comes in through the clinic so it's a very special place oh and also above you'll the never clinic, be able to move yes, no above the above the, above the um, couch my dad made me a very special star panel and it's got all the constellations of my family in it oh my yeah. gosh yeah, so it's, it's beautiful i love it there wow absolutely love it there oh a labor of love mm. <gasps> okay what's your favorite tip to de-stress grounding grounding 100 percent. get out where even if you're in london there's somewhere that has space of greenery to the mm. park or anything and there's a, a really good um, website it's called uh, groundology.co.uk oh, okay and uh, they actually have cuffs so even if you're in a flat you can get yourself a nice pot plant mm. and you actually put this little uh, rod in the pot plant and wear the cuff grounding perfect yeah oh my God. so there's no excuse no excuse yeah and and what does the grounding exactly mean bare, bare feet go and find a bit of grass mm -hmm. or even better go go to the woods I mean that's why yeah, I love all the beach. Norfolk is beautiful mm. I mean the favorite thing my husband and I love to do is we don't go out for meals or anything like that we just get ourselves some soup and some hot rolls from the farm shop and we go to the beach wrap up even if it's dark and sit on the beach with soup and rolls or if it's really in the summer we'll go to the beach with you know I'm barbecue I'm and I'm wine not. and there's no one on there and it's like white powdery seas at the cold. beach and everything. <laughs> and everyone else is inside. No, it's beautiful. It's even better. It even makes you feel alive. It's That's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's oh. gorgeous. You are trying to sell it to me and it is working. Honestly, you, you'd be nuts not to come. It's beautiful. Um, and what about um, what about in the home? Like, um, are there other sort of things that you do? Yes, I mean, the biggest thing that I always say are your electronics in your bedroom. Mm. Um, when, you go to, oh, when you go to sleep, it's all about rest and repair. But, you know, we know that from, on a skin point of view. But mm. it's also really important time for your brain to purge. It's time for your, your new neurotransmitters to lie down. And, and the fact of the matter is, if, if you've got your phone and you're using your phone as a, an alarm clock or you've got it right by your head or if you've got your lamps still on at the wall, it's still got electro smog that's radiating and it actually can interfere with that purging. Mm. So it's not great idea if you suffer from anxiety or if you suffer from sleep deprivation or anything like that if you've got a cold spring mattress that also is a conductor of mm. those electro smogs so get them out of your your room wow. charge them out of your room get yeah, a big yeah. hunk of crystal uh, rose quartz mm. put that in your bedroom because that is an absorber of, of electro smog um, mm. energy but you know just small little things why do you think there's so much autoimmune issues around oh my now. gosh like hun over 100 aren't there known disorders oh, well i mean electro smog heavy metals pollution food mm. um emotional stress viruses i mean the epstein Barr virus is one of the ones that lays dormant in your liver and your spleen and it can be, then act as a decoy for other things mm. like for instance it might present itself as a thyroid um, issue but actually mm. it can do with with you know certain Epstein Barr viruses and um, and viruses and molds and back see it's not a case of just separating each one you mm. can also have a coupling yeah um, I don't know whether you saw yesterday I did a um, Instagram post on parasites I was te testing someone with parasites and when I talk about parasites I don't actually mean the physical thing of parasites I'm mm. talking about the energetic uh, information right, um, right. that's collected and I'll explain that in a second yeah. but um, basically what I, if you get a resonance 
then that tells me that there's a frequency of a specific par parasite mm. and that's known as a pathogen and that pathogen has this speci a specific frequency and then I can take that frequency and invert it now when you invert frequency it's very much like the opera singer in the glass mm. the reason why the glass smashes is because she's matched that frequency mm. So that's what we aim to do in energy therapy. Um, so, but sometimes parasites don't show, so they hide. Mm. But if you put a provocator, so parasites love heavy metals and they love dairy. Mm. So if I put a frequency of either milk or mercury in what we'll call an input cup as a provocator, mm. then you'll see what ones may really? come out. How yes, um, frequencies are stored in our DNA from you know, uh, inherited factors from um, foods, from everything we eat, drink, recreational drugs, medicinal drugs, partners we've been with, all sorts of things, all frequency. And that's without parasites, molds, bacteria, viruses, heavy metals, electrosmog, they're all stored. And, and the easiest analogy that I've got from that is uh, if you can remember your very first computer, what, 20, 20, 30 years ago, okay? <laughs> you would not remember the first, um, <laughs> you'd not remember the first document that you wrote on that, but it's, it's in your hard drive. Mm. So the information from that computer then gets transferred to the next computer. And then the information from that computer goes on and so on. Mm. So your computer now is filled with all sorts of information, digital yeah. information. Mm -hmm. If you put a tagline or if you wrote a certain sentence that was in that first document, it could jump up. Mm -hmm. But you haven't got the physical document in sure. your hand. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit like that. It's mm. understanding what frequencies may show up. And some of them lay dormant and some of them, you know, are not there at all. So when I'm talking about, let's just say, again, a parasite, if one shows up like Giardia, which is the common one for, you know, like uh, dysentery and things like that, mm. if um, that shows up, it doesn't necessarily mean to say that you've got it, mm. but it could have happened yeah. years ago. It's stored. Yeah. That information is stored. And it's a, like a sensitivity that you it's have It's a sensitivity, it. mm. yeah. And often food allergens are born from parasites, molds or bacteria. Mm. And and because you've got quite a, a an interesting array of technology that helps you determine yeah. these things. Explain some of those. Uh, so, yeah, so I have um, two scanners. Mm -hmm. One scanner is um, where there's headphones and it has a receiver on the headphones. And what it does, it listens to the frequencies from your brain to every single part of it, right down to your chromosomes. It listens to them. Okay. It's extraordinary. It also listens to the frequencies of the interference. Mm. So, um, as I said, if, if you and I are two healthy cells and mm. we've got a really lovely clear interference, mm. and just like now we've had like sirens going on mm -hmm. or music, it interferes with that com conversation. Yeah. That's what these, these uh, earphones listen to. Mm. Um, and so it gives me an indication of what are the main problems or the main energetic factors mm. that may be causing imbalance and there's another one uh, which is called Zyto um, hand cradle so you literally put your hand on the cradle and it has something called a galvanic skin response so it's very mm. similar to um, a lie detector test mm. so with a lie detector test a stressor would be a question that mm. you're trying to avoid mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so basically what the Zyto does it gives me a base reading base energetic reading of where your body should be mm -hmm. and then it throws all sorts of stresses stressor frequencies at it mm. so they could be you know any of the above um, GM foods metals molds parasites viruses etc etc mm. and then it will then throw all of the balances now those balances are frequencies of homeopathic remedies of different modalities of certain foods that that your body may mm. adhere to and then it will give us an indication of what the body needs to help bring that balance back mm. so i then take that back to the clinic along with a little tiny blood prick sample mm. and then i will test specific frequencies which you do by post which I do by post mm -hmm. yeah specific frequencies and and then we have a conversation about what I found and and I give you options of what can be done so I can either imprint those frequencies that help to knock out the um, pathogens mm. and or I can imprint frequencies to help balance and support mm. to bring to help the body cope with it better mm. um, and I can imprint them in a microchip. 
that you can wear on certain parts of the body. So for instance, for areas of pain or inflammation, then, you know, let's just say you've got frozen shoulder, it will be... I don't think you'd know where to start or where to stop. Well, we'd have to test, <laughs> we'll see what priority is. Ooh. That's what we have to do. Um, yeah, so it can either be imprinted in that, or it can be yeah. imprinted into a homeopathic remedy. Right. Um, and and how long would you wear that patch? Depends, I have to test. Right. So it can be anything from two weeks to six weeks. Right. Okay. Um, and sometimes it's on what's called the phosphorus point or the nala point, mm -hmm. which is under your tummy. It can be on your, on your solar plexus or specific parts mm. on your back. Mm. Fill me in. The story goes, um, the wonderful Alessandra Steinher um, kept encouraging me to bring out Restore. Mm -hmm. um, and I never wanted to get into skincare. I just thought, oh, it's just too much of a headache. I've got enough to be dealing with with my clinic and everything. And I brought out Restore and it flew off the shelves. It won awards. Um, you know, it was featured in Vogue. It's, it's, it's amazing because mm. basically I created that to treat um, scar wounds and healing. Mm. I used it for like acne and rosacea, and it's a hemp-based protein, and it's got an eight-strain live, probi live probiotic. Mm. And then I had people saying, "Well, can you bring out cleansers? Can you do this?" And I thought, right, I, I don't believe personally in skin types or skin conditions because your skin is a barometer of what's going on internally. Mm. So I wanted to make sure that my concept which is treating the lipid barrier mm. and feeding the skin's microbiome were the two main things in my skincare range mm. so that's why i don't believe in moisturizers because it makes your skin lazy yeah. i believe in hydrators but not heavy moisturizers i don't believe really in in um, strong exfoliants mm -hmm. so for instance anoint which is really rich in omegas um, that is mixed with um, uh, the restore mm -hmm. and then you've got the epidermal blanket which is here so the epidermal blanket is this is a marula oil now marula oil a lot of people shy away from oils because they think um, first of all essential oils are too strong they can be uh, toxic but mm. essential oils are like fine wines mm. You know, you can get a wine that, so ca that causes a, an allergic reaction, yeah. but you can get a fine wine that, you know, is yeah. and been am am amazing. And it's like lavender's got so many different variations. Mm. You've got high altitude lavender, but then you've got like synthetic lavender. Mm. And, um, and, they, and they dissipate. They're not, yeah. It's not like they cling to your skin and block pores, etc. which is obviously the, you know, like mineral oil. Yeah. Okay, moving on. No, home. but also yeah. essential oils oxygenate, detoxinate and hydrate. Yeah. So even when you're using an essential oil with an acne type skin, you know, bacteria thrives where there's no oxygen. It's yeah. anaerobic. Yeah. Well, an essential oil is oxygenating. Yeah. So, you know, it's excellent for that. And it depends on what the base is. So uh, marula oil has a really tiny molecular structure. It's really rich in vitamin C. And it's also got my uh, signature um, aroma of frankincense, rose and neroli. Now those three blended together um, link to the skin's frequency which is 534 megahertz. So it absorbs into the skin oh. straight away. So yeah, that's, that's it isn't it? Yeah, so, so that is the first stage of the epidermal blanket mm. okay because your lipid barrier is a mixture of oil and moisture and then we I have feel cozy already <laughs> <laughs> and then we have resonate now resonate is a hydrogel now this has got arnica in it guticola in it it has um, What's guticola? guticola is an anti-inflammatory um uh, herb mm. berry um okay so this just apply that over the skin so the two and that's just enough hydration mm. however if you feel that you don't have enough hydration then you've got the new skin quencher so the skin quencher I never have enough hydration at no, my age no no yeah. <laughs> skin quencher gives a natural uh, luminosity mm. it has matrixyl 3000 in it mm -hmm. it has hyaluronic acid in it and it also has squalane which is not the same as squalene mm. okay so squalene in it so uh, but the and good how thing, does it differ from squalene? well squalene this is more stable version right um and you often get a uh, six or ten percent squalane this is a 16 percent so it's amazing and it this you can either apply after your oil but you only need a small amount it goes a long way and it absolutely makes your skin glow now you can have that in you can put that into your um foundation why? as well 
put it on here and there. <laughs> oh, right, you can mix it up. You can mix it with your foundation. Yeah, I like that. You can, mm. yeah, because the, the whole point of the product range it's was so that nice. you can mix and match and you can, they're multi purpose. Mm. So, for instance, restore you can mix that with water you can uh, as a as a probiotic mask you can put a teaspoon in your bath as a probiotic soak mm. you can mix it with anoint as a probiotic exfoliator anoint you can use all over your body it's very rich in omegas it's mm. amazing you can add a little bit of a highlighter on it so you can have a shimmer body shimmer if you want to you can warm it up to put in your hair as a hair mask you can use Stop it as a it. night mask it's too much <laughs> right. so it's oh, amazing no time in the day for all this gorgeous yeah. luxury i love it so, so the, the and skin, this one? oh, the face, the face, this is a pro vitamin A. Right. Um, so, you know, vitamin A's come in all different variations yeah. um, and it depends on their conversion rate. And they can be very inflammatory, but this is a pro vitamin A. So it's got Baruti oil in it. It has passion fruit oil in it. It's got um, rose oil in it. Say, and, and it and it's, absorbs straight into the skin and it uh, what it does it absorbs through an enzy enzymatic process and it allows your body to create its own retinate internally slower mm. so it's not as fast as your normal retinol products mm. it takes a long time but it's beautiful and it's mm. amazing so you use it over night time that's amazing um, and you're all cruelty free all cruelty free and also the supplements so the supplements um <laughs> they deal with the, the, the first six Reset. dealt with the, the core um, pillars of skin health. So we have inflammatory, so there's calmeric for that, which is turmeric and black pepper, etc. Then you have hormonal, which is your Eve, which is really good as well, not only for uh, PMT and menopause and, and all things like that, but it's really good for adrenal fatigue, like if you're feeling really sluggish. Then you've got um, eradicate, which is really good for spore activity. Um, mm. And then we have evolve that has super antioxidants from the sea and the earth, but it's also good chelator. So it actually absorbs heavy metals in your system, but it's fantastic. Then there's cold force, which has got your um, collagen, marine collagen, but it also has biotin, zinc, silica, all mm. your B vitamins. Um, then there is, I'm trying to think what else, a Repair Plus. How do you remember? Okay, so Amazing. Repair Plus has is the L-glutamine. Now L-glutamine is really good for fascia health. Mm. But the L-glutamine can also be mixed with annoying as a mask. Okay. So it's fantastic, you know, if you want to yes, I, I know that's really it's good. It's really, really good. Um, but it's also really good, you just take a teaspoon in water mm. and, and take that every day. And then, so they were the six pillars, but I wanted to also draw attention to the cellular because it's like I said you can have all of these wonderful things but if the cellular nutrition is tired mm. then it can't really take on that information and that's where three set comes in so three set is an adaptogen an right. adaptogen is what sort of like yes. kickstarts and resets yeah, yeah, yeah. your cells so if somebody came to you yes and they had a consultation but they were really only thinking about their skin but really you would cover them off in so many different ways. How, how wonderful. Yeah, well, so so if somebody comes to me and they say, like, I get loads of emails saying that, you know, I have acne and I have this and I have that, can you recommend your skin products? Mm. Uh, you know, we don't ever do that. We get them in for consultation because mm. we're not treating the symptom. I want to know yeah. why you've got why that. You've got... What, you know, we have to treat the cause, yes. you know, because a lot of in people, everything. that's right. I mean, even candida, candida is a mm. huge thing. Now candida, mm. we all have, mm. but there's different strains of candida and it can reside from the back of your, your nose to the back of your throat, to mm. your tongue, all mm. the way down through your alimentary canal. Yeah. So it depends on what type of candida it is. So, and uh, that's when we can do a blood test and then print mm. the specific candida strain fungal strain use an antifungal get you on eradicate <laughs> oh gosh I love it so I think you can see I'm in awe <laughs> I don't know how she does it she's just just immense I mean you know there is there is really no it's not it's not a it's not a facial it's not a treatment it's literally a, a way of a way of being bringing for the balance future. Bringing yeah. balance and, and of literally instilling a sense of well-being, of making somebody feel a bit more in control of, of your life yeah, but, in, in but, areas that they may not even be aware that are in, out of balance. Yeah, and I think as well, you know, with social media, there's so many things fired at people that you're actually in the eye of the storm sometimes and mm. they don't know which way to turn. Yes. And I think it's actually understanding 
why they might be getting these symptoms rather than suppressing it mm. is understanding why they might be getting mm. the, their symptoms and again as I said sometimes when you go on this journey things get worse before they get better because it's like that purging it's getting yeah. rid of those nasties so yeah. it's understanding that well, so yeah. your name mud for about like, yeah, three days it is, yeah. 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 and then I'm it's like cursed, oh, yeah. and then, <laughs> she's an angel I love her <laughs> yeah. and I love her too I love you right back oh, yeah. gorgeous mm -hmm. <laughs> Goddess, no. check her out. Fortnum's, Norfolk, yeah, Nor else? Norfolk for the for the well being. Yes, but Fortnum's for all things skin. Where we do the master lift and the master glow and yeah. other bits and pieces. Oh. And sometimes I, I I will take your bloods for testing. So wonderful. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the love. And do visit my lifestyle website, jogbliving.com where you'll find our candles and blog and more exciting things to come. The link is below.